All right, about three years ago, Bushnell released a product that essentially created an entirely new product category that you may not have even know you needed. It did so when it released this, the Bushnell Wingman, which is a golf Bluetooth speaker. Now, what the heck is a golf Bluetooth speaker? Essentially, it's exactly what you think it is. It's a Bluetooth speaker for the golf course. There are two main features that usually differentiate a regular Bluetooth speaker and a golf Bluetooth speaker. The first is there's a magnet. Big magnet, you can stick it right there on the cart. So when you are cruising around, you can easily listen to music and that's a pretty simple feature, magnet on speaker. The second is a little more specific. It's built-in GPS. So you can hit a button and it pairs with an app and it's going to give you front, middle, back distances to the green. You can often go into the app, you can get more information, you can keep score on the app. It essentially is just kind of like a speaker and a GPS combined into one. And that's what the Bushnell Wingman did. And since then, there have been a number of other products from a number of other different companies that have seek to replicate this or put their own spin on it. But right now, we have just seen the release of this, the Bushnell Wingman View. It is the follow-up to the original Wingman. And the question is, is this the best golf GPS speaker on the market? In some ways, the answer is yes. In other ways, the answer is a little bit muddier. So if you've been in the market for a golf Bluetooth speaker, you're gonna to wanna to keep watching. We're gonna review this, the Bushnell Wingman View. We're gonna talk about how it compares to the old model, to some of the other models that are out there. And we're gonna figure out if this truly is your best bet for a Bluetooth speaker on the golf course. All right, first impressions of the Bushnell Wingman. Every single Bushnell product I have ever used feels very high quality. It feels very well built. That is what Bushnell is known for, and the Wingman view is no different. On top of that, everything feels slightly more elevated, slightly more refined than it did on the original Wingman. The new one is just a little bit bigger. It's a little bit taller. It feels maybe like it's a little bit heavier, and they adopted this triangular design as opposed to the round design of the original one. And the reason for that is maybe a little bit obvious. They wanted to build in this screen. So when I first saw this, I was like, this is going to be great. We've got a Bluetooth speaker that hopefully is gonna sound good. You've got a built-in GPS, so you kind of get the benefits of the Bushnell Phantom, their GPS unit, along with the benefits of a Bluetooth speaker, and that seems like a pretty killer combination. We're gonna talk about that in a minute because that hasn't necessarily completely proven to be true, and I'll tell you why that is. Overall, on the surface, I like the triangular design. You mount it on the cart and it helps with the direction of the music and it makes it a little bit better to hear things regardless of where you are around your cart. The buttons on the front have a great rubber texture. They're slightly indented, which feels a little bit more elevated to the way they were on the old model. It also makes it super easy to turn the volume up or down to get a distance. Everything is right there in front of you when it's mounted. So on the back, you've got the big sturdy Bushnell bite magnet, which really does have some bite. You're gonna stick this to the cart, you do not have to worry about it coming off. It is super strong. On the top, you've got a remote with three buttons, so you can hit the Bushnell button for audible GPS distances from wherever you are on the course, and two volume buttons for raising or lowering the volume of the speaker, which is nice, because if you're on the green and you can't hear the music, you're like, you know what, let's turn this up a little bit. Boom, away you go. It's nice to see that versatility. On the bottom, you have a little flap here and you have an in port and an out port. The in is for charging, it's USB-C, it works great. On the other side, you have an out port. So if you wanna use this as a dedicated USB charging solution, you can do that. So bring your phone cord, plug it in here, and it will be a portable power bank regardless of where you are, which is a nice feature to see. So first impressions of the Wingman View is, it's great. It has a ton of features. It's got the Bushnell build quality that we love. It seems like it's a no-brainer for this to be the best golf GPS speaker on the market. But once you start using it, things aren't quite so clear. So let's talk about that. Okay, so the pairing process with this is super easy as long as you read the directions. The problem is, is like most people, you get a Bluetooth speaker, you're like, cool, I'm gonna hit the Bluetooth button, I'm gonna go into my Bluetooth settings on my phone, I'm gonna pair it, away you go. That will work, that'll get you music. But you bought this probably because you wanted the GPS data. And in order to get the GPS data, you have to properly pair it through the new Bushnell Golf app. And so I made that mistake. I was like, cool, pair, I've got the Bushnell Golf app, I get to the first tee, I think we're gonna be all set. And then I realized there is a new Bushnell Golf app. You have to pair it through the app and not outside of the app. And so I ran into a couple hiccups there. But if you start with the Golf app, if you set up your account, if you register your device, then the process is going to be super easy for you. Uh, you're gonna have to pair both the speaker as well as the remote, but the app walks you through everything. And it literally takes all of about a minute to set up your account and pair it with your phone once you get going. 
just make sure you go to the app first, and I would recommend doing this before you get to the course. So when it comes to performance, let's start with the good things about the Wingman View. First off, it sounds great. It sounds louder, it sounds bassier, and a little bit clearer than the outgoing model, which I think is fantastic. Another big improvement over the old Wingman is Bluetooth connectivity. With the old one, it seemed like I'd get like 30 or 40 feet away from the speaker with my phone, and it would lose Bluetooth connectivity. This one, I could have my phone in my pocket, I'd have the Bluetooth speaker in the cart, I could walk all the way out to the opposite side of the green, and it still didn't ever lose music. In three rounds, the connectivity has has proved to be excellent, which is honestly probably the biggest upgrade from the old one. And that's one of the things that I love because that was one of the big knocks I had with the outgoing model. As I mentioned, there's an all new Bushnell Golf app, which overall works great. It pairs well with the Wingman. And if you need more detailed data than the Wingman is going to give you, you can go into the app to get hazard distances or exact distances to any point on the course. Hey. Real quick, editing Sean here, a feature I forgot to mention in the video is that if you hit the Bluetooth pairing button on the speaker, you can get hazard distances. It's not super clear unless you read the instructions, but I did want to point out that this is a feature the Wingman View includes. You can also keep score on your round using the app and generally is a pretty good experience. So all that to say, the GPS is accurate. The speaker sounds great. It mounts great on the cart, but as I kind of alluded to before, there's some things about this that I didn't find to be perfect. Honestly, all my critiques are relatively minor, but when you add them all up, they start to add up to something that's, well, maybe a little bit more major. So first off, like I said, I generally like the triangular design. It helps with the sound, it helps with mounting, it enables the screen, and my thought was, you're going to mount this on the cart, and it's going to make it even easier to see the screen because it's going to be angled towards the people in the cart. Unfortunately, I found that not to be the case. Because the screen is not backlit and because it is highly reflective, when you're doing this and you're looking at it on an angle, you can't very easily see the distances. So if you're on the cart, I'm finding myself constantly having to go like this in order to see everything it says. That's assuming you're the driver and it's mounted on the driver's side. If you're a passenger and it's mounted on the passenger side, then it's pointing out of the cart and uh, isn't really helpful for anybody there. So the screen location I found to not be as useful as possible. Like I said, I was thinking this was going to be essentially the Phantom GPS with a Bluetooth speaker, but the screen isn't backlit, it's not quite as big, and it doesn't flushly mount with a head-on view. That slightly off-kilter view makes it more difficult to see, and that wasn't something I was expecting when I started using this speaker. One of the cool features about this is there's a built-in remote. So let's say you're in the middle of the fairway, your cart's over here, you can just hit a button on the remote and it's going to give you yardages. If you're on the green and the music's too loud or not loud enough, you can easily hit the volume button to adjust it. But one issue I've had is it can be difficult to get this out. It's very sticky. That actually worked pretty well, but other times like when you're trying to like literally it doesn't come out. So it's like, I found you kind of have to like get your finger in there and really pull it out. And I had trouble with that on the course. Almost every time I've tried to take the remote out, it's been difficult. And this is an easy thing to lose. So I can see why they wanted to make it in there as securely as possible, but it's a little too secure. And so I found some annoyances on that when trying to get it out. And that's a relatively minor thing, but it is something that I did notice and I did have an issue with. One kind of cool thing about the remote and about this speaker is that you can create custom messages. So there's a few that are built in, like essentially just a golf clap applause, or you can actually go into the app and record your own messages like, nice shot. And then if you double click or triple click the remote, it will trigger your custom message and play it out via the speaker, which again, it's gimmicky, but it's also a fun party trick and it's kind of cool. So finally, my last critique of the Wingman is something I'm kind of bummed by because it was actually in the original model and not in the new one. And it's very simple, but it's this hook right here. That's it, it's just on the bottom, little hook. But what this allows you to do is take a carabiner and attach it to your golf bag. Most of the time when I play golf, I'm not using a cart. I'm either carrying my clubs or I'm using a push cart. And so there's not an easy place to mount it with the magnet. So if I'm going to use it, I'm probably going to take a carabiner and I'm going to hook it to my golf bag and use it that way. Unfortunately, with the new model, there, there's no way to do that. There is no, there's no hook on the bottom because that's where they put all the ports for charging and turning it into a power bank. And so as someone who most of the time carries their clubs, this doesn't really work all that well for me. And to be fair, 
Both of these are pretty big speakers. If you're carrying your clubs, these are gonna add quite a bit of weight, and so there are other models out there that are probably going to be a better fit for you, and I'll talk about a couple of those in just a second. But considering how many golfers choose to walk or push to not even have the option to be able to hook it to their bag easily, that feels like a bit of a missed opportunity, and it was something that they had figured out before that they then redesigned and lost that functionality. So that's something that kind of bummed me out. So all that to say, with the pros and the cons, where does that leave us with the wingman? So here's my personal thought. Most people don't need a GPS golf speaker. You've got apps on your phone. You've got a rangefinder. You've got shot tracking systems. There are so many ways to get yardages that are honestly in many ways faster and easier than having to get a new app and pair it with your phone and you know do all the complicated stuff that goes along with that. Even though it's really not that complicated. It pairs quickly, everything works well, it works seamlessly. At the same time, I've got a Garmin watch while I'm playing, I've got a rangefinder, I'm using Arco, like I've got so many different ways to get GPS distances, I don't really need my speaker to do that. Maybe you do, maybe you just want one thing, you don't use an app very often, you don't have a rangefinder, you don't wanna buy a phantom GPS unit, you just want one thing that can do it all. And if that's you, then this is a great device. It is probably the best golf GPS speaker on the market. But this whole market segment to me, I just find to be a little odd because most people, frankly, they're not going to use it. It's a fun party trick. You use it a couple times and people are like, oh, that's cool. And then they go back to using the rangefinder. So for me, it's more about finding the right combination of a speaker with the sound and ergonomics that I want that are going to fit well for the way that I play golf. And so since I mostly carry and there's now no longer a way to attach it to my bag, so even though this sounds great and I do love the built-in screen, it's just not that conducive to a walking or pushing golfer. Fortunately for me, at the same time they announced the Wingman View, Bushnell also announced a second speaker, the Wingman Mini, and that is basically exactly what I'm looking for. It's a smaller speaker that has a built-in magnet and a built-in carabiner, so you can mount it on a cart, you can mount it on your bag, it's easy to use, it still has the GPS features if you want them, it just doesn't have the screen, and it costs 50 bucks less at only $100. Hey, me again. I also realized that I got some of the pricing wrong when it comes to the Bushnell Wingman View. The Bushnell Wingman View costs $199, the Wingman Mini is $99, and currently the Blue Tees Player Series speaker is also $99. So the Bushnell Wingman View is definitely a little bit more expensive, but you're also getting a lot more features for that as well. So that's gonna be rolled out here in the next few weeks. I will do a review on that when I get my hands on one. So even though it's probably not gonna sound as loud or as clear or as bassy as this one, simply because of its size, I think I'm gonna find more value in the way I golf and the way I listen to music on a course in that model as opposed to this. Another product to consider if you like the size and form factor and sound quality of this, but you don't necessarily need the GPS, is the Blue Tees player speaker. It's 50 bucks less, it is almost identical in size, it sounds great, it's got good bass, it just doesn't have any of the built-in GPS capabilities that the Bushnell has. So this, up until recently, has been my pick for overall best golf speaker. I think this is, in most ways, just as good despite my critiques. It sounds great, it looks great, it's high quality, it's got great build quality, but it's more expensive and I don't personally need the GPS. So take that for what it's worth. A couple other speakers you might consider if you are a walking golfer are this. This is the Tech Tech Teammate. It is the smallest golf Bluetooth speaker and it does have built-in GPS as well. It, because it's so small, it's not as loud as some of the other models, but it actually sounded better than I expected to and you still get some of those GPS features that you might be interested in. But honestly, if you're a walking golfer and you just want a Bluetooth speaker you can attach to your bag that sounds great, that's not gonna break the bank and you don't care about all the GPS stuff, I'd look at this. This is the JBL Clip 3. There's also a more up-to-date version, which is the Clip 4 that's more expensive, but you can get this for like 40 bucks, 40 or 50 bucks on Amazon. It sounds great. It doesn't weigh very much. You clip it to your bag, away you go. So this is the one I've actually found myself using the most on a regular basis because it does everything I need it to do. So I'm going to do a dedicated best golf GPS speakers video coming up where I'm gonna talk about some of those other ones in a little bit more detail. But for now, what do you need to know? The Bushnell Wingman View, it does exactly what it says it's going to do. The GPS works great with the app. You can get accurate yardages, you can get them audibly, you can get them through the screen, and the sound quality is excellent. Among the best of all the GPS golf speakers I have used. 
used. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then 100% you should go and buy it. I think you're going to be really happy with it for a long time to come. All right, the last thing I'm gonna say before we end this video is because if you've never used one of these before, you may not realize this. If you stick it to your golf cart or if you have a range finder with a magnet you stick to your cart, there is a very high likelihood you are going to forget it. I've played three rounds with this. I've already left it at the course once and you don't wanna to have to go back and pick up the thing you lost. It's super annoying. So just make sure you leave a reminder for yourself somehow to not forget all of the magnetic devices you put on your cart because it is very easy to do so. My name is Sean Ogle. I'm the founder of this thing here at Breaking 80 where we do cool golf product reviews and course reviews. If that sounds interesting to you, maybe consider hitting the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, uh, drop a comment below. If you've got any questions, I will do my best to answer every single one. And if you're not on our newsletter, why not? Go to breaking80.com slash hi. Get our newsletter. We send like one email a week with all of our best stuff. I think you're gonna dig it. And with that, we will see you on the next video. Peace.